Yeah, it's time we talk about just how much of a f***ing joke jaguars are. First of all, jaguars will regularly clap caiman by going into the water and dragging them out by their teeth like a disobedient child. And that's because jaguars do something that no other big cat does. Because while lions, tigers, and leopards put their prey out of their misery by biting the neck, jaguars apparently watch Endgame and go directly for the head, which happens to be the caiman's weak point. And since this walking vice grip has the strongest bite of any cat, that means it puts the caiman in a coffin by biting through its skull and piercing its walnut-sized brain. After the jaguar cancels his life subscription, he'll then manhandle the caiman out of the water. Just for the record, caiman can grow to weigh hundreds of pounds. It's like deadlifting a washing machine, but only using your teeth. Think about it like this. Leopards are strong enough to lift and carry their victims into the trees where they can eat them without having to pay taxes to lions or hyenas. Jaguars are literally everything leopards are on steroids, and the good kind too. The kind that helps you win Tour de France seven times. So yeah, jaguars will bully the crocodile's little brother. It can also weigh over 200 pounds, run at 50 miles per hour, and they look like this underwater. And since there's no immigration control for a homicidal Garfield on PED, sometimes they end up wandering into the US. Because they can climb, building a wall ain't bout to do sh Jaguars are a cheat code that God forgot to patch. Here's the difference between leopards and jaguars. One, I hope you have good health insurance, and the other, you better have life insurance. Leopards are one of the smallest big cats found in Africa and Asia, but they're also one of the strongest. They have to be, since they carry all the bodies they catch into trees where they don't have to worry about lions or hyenas. Jaguars can climb, but don't need to, because they have no worries, they're what everything worries about. They're the third most brawlic big cats with a home address of Central and South America. Leopards are quicker, more agile, and they ambush their prey and end them with a bite to the windpipe. Jaguars are heavier, stronger, and they factory reset their victims by biting through the skull and even piercing the brain. It helps that this steroid Garfield has pound for pound the strongest bite of any big cat. Strong enough to clap caiman and evict turtles from their shell. Leopards are the best climber, so if it's in a tree, it's probably a leopard and you're probably gonna die. Cause leopards often ambush their prey by leaping from the sky like Batman about to cripple a drug dealer. Jaguars are more all around since they can run, climb, and swim. Jaguars take down bigger prey, but the leopard has a higher hit list since they prey on over 90 animals, including dogs. Leopards are smaller, quicker, and better climbers. Jags are stronger and more all around, except in Jacksonville. Here's what your favorite big cat says about you. It's a jaguar, you're a wannabe gym rat big. Okay, first of all, that was uncalled for. Especially since I was at the gym when you sent that to me. Second of all, your favorite animal's bad at being itself. Yeah, roll the clip. Vultures eat dead things. Like, that's how little smoke they want with the living. Yet somehow your favorite animal lets itself get pocket checked by some coarse pigeons. Cheetahs get bullied by literally everything, but they can't even hide from the smoke in trees because cheetahs can't climb trees. Or at least they're not good at it. Also, cheetahs are so inbred that they're almost all identical. The cheetah population was literally once so down bad that piping their sister was their only option. That, and apparently their mother. I love cheetahs, I really do, but you can't tell me nature didn't fumble the hell out of them. You know, I'd be willing to forgive all of that if it wasn't for this. Okay, I'm gonna tell you where it is, but before I do, here's five things you did not know about them. Genetically, snow leopards are actually closest to tigers. They're ice tigers. Snow leopards are the only big cats that can't roar, and it's because their vocal cords don't have a special layer of fatty tissue that lets them sound like lions, tigers, and jaguars. Instead, they sound like a moody teenage Simba. Even though they could body bag anyone watching this, snow leopards are massive introverts and they're so non-aggressive towards humans that if you pull up on one, it's more likely to run than run a fade. There is no recorded case of a wild snow leopard attacking a human, and you could even mess around and interrupt one while it's eating, which is normally asking to see God. But for the snow leopard, it'll still probably choose pacifism and just run away. Snow leopards have a long, thick tail full of fur and fat, which is why they often use them as a built-in scarf or a blanket for those chilly nights. Snow leopards can jump 50 feet in one leap, and this is what it looks like to play tag with a snow leopard. It's not fun. For those of you that stuck around and made it to the end, there he is. He's been there the whole time. You're lucky they're not violent. You know what? To answer your question, I'm gonna tell y'all a little story. So once upon a time, a Florida man had a pet black leopard. And I could honestly end the video right there. Pet, leopard, and then Florida, and man. There's only one way this movie ends. Horribly with no sequel. So this man from Fort Lauderdale decided to keep the big cat in his backyard and then charge people $150 for a full contact experience. Which would be exciting if this were a massage parlor, but no, we're talking about wild animals. In his defense, the man claimed to run an animal sanctuary for rare and endangered animals, which apparently involved leaving killing machines in his backyard. Some might argue it's no more dangerous than owning a gun, and my response is you can't put a safety on a f***ing leopard. So anyway, one man ended up spending $150 of his hard-earned money to get the full Black Panther experience. He got exactly what he paid for. The leopard proceeded to scalp him, as in it was so bad that his scalp was hanging from his head and his right ear was torn in half. He got mauled so severely by the Black Panther that he could have legally changed his name to Killmonger right then and there. And just a reminder, he paid for that to happen. 
It's like writing Mike Tyson a check to break your jaw. It's like paying an MMA fighter to bicycle kick your ribs. It's like spending thousands a year just to get your mental health suplexed. I would know. I went to college. The man who let another grown man risk his life right in front of him claimed that the leopard went crazy, but Chris Rock said it best. Talk about the tiger went crazy. That tiger ain't go crazy. That tiger went tiger. Thank you, Chris. Moral of this video. They're called wild animals because they'll wild out on your- Cougar found with teeth growing out the back of its head. Yeah, this cougar has teeth growing out of its head and nobody knows for sure why. In 2016, a hunter in Idaho took down a full-grown mountain lion, and when he checked the body, he saw a full set of teeth attached to the back of its head. It also had whiskers coming out of its forehead. After the pictures went viral, half the internet had a heart attack, and the other half thought the pictures were fake. That is, until the Idaho Department of Fish and Game confirmed that the mountain lion picture wasn't a hoax. This actually happened. So there's two reasons this could have happened. Number one, and this is the one I believe, it's caused by a rare tumor called a teratoma, which causes cancerous growths and hair and teeth to pop up where God did not intend them. This can also affect humans, in fact. There was a case where a doctor had to remove a tooth that was growing inside a 13-year-old boy's acorn wallet. Now the other theory, and this is definitely the more f***ed up one. That mountain lion had a conjoined twin that actually didn't make it out of the womb, and those teeth are all that's left since the rest of its body would have been reabsorbed by the fully formed fetus. If it makes you feel any better, experts are sure that this deformity wasn't painful for the cougar, and it clearly didn't affect the cat too much since the mountain lion was a full-grown adult when the hunter took it out. Most animals with mutations instantly become a patch, so the fact that this cougar lived as long as it did means it probably didn't have to suffer too much. Can't say the same about my mental health or that of the hunter that found it. It was real talk, they probably weren't okay for a very long time. In fact, I heard his therapist retired early. Moral of this video. This? This is what it took for me to remember Idaho's estate. Next time you see a tiger at the zoo and think you're safe behind a fence, remember this video. Yeah, tigers are really like that. Steroid Garfield can weigh 600, 700 pounds, yet can yeet themselves 12 feet in the air, giving the tiger one of the highest verticals of any big cat, which means a motivated tiger could high jump clear over an elephant's head. This is not edited. It's because tigers are built like athletic tanks. In fact, tiger legs are so ridiculously strong that they've been known to remain standing even when they're not alive. You could take a tiger's soul and it'll still be standing. That is if it doesn't cancel your life subscription first. Tigers have been known to mimic the calls of other animals to lull them into a false sense of security before they turn them into a wuss. And more tigers have been recorded mimicking Asian black bears, which are actually a pretty big part of their grocery list. Also, fun fact, actually really, I don't know how the f this is even possible fact, tigers can allegedly paralyze you without even touching you. That's because tigers can roar at a frequency of less than 20 hertz, which we can't hear. But the infrasound is so powerful that it can travel long distances and even pass through solid objects. Like your bones. Which is why it's believed that both animals and humans can feel the roar without actually hearing it, causing a paralyzing effect that can cause even professional tiger trainers to completely evacuate their bowels. It's also why the lion roars that you hear in movies are actually tigers. Moral of this video, tigers are just death gift wrapped by God in black and orange. If we have any beans, is that okay? Is it okay if I call you my product? Yeah, they have no business being that big. So everyone knows about ligers, but there's actually two types of whatever, whatever you want to call this. It's a liger if its father's a lion and mother's a tiger. Father tiger and mother lion makes a tigon. And ligers are technically the biggest big cats on the planet, with the largest one being a male liger named Nuku who violated the scales at 1,213 pounds. Tigons never get that big and it's because they never outgrow their parents. Because they inherit growth inhibitory genes from both parents. And kind of fun fact, tigons are much rarer than ligers and one of the reasons is because male tigers find the courtship rituals of lionesses so subtle that they can end up not realizing she wants to mate. So basically, there's less tigons than ligers because male tigers can't take the hint. It'd be like that. Ligers split their personalities with lions and tigers. For example, ligers enjoy swimming, which is a tiger trait. But they're also social extroverts, which is very much a lion thing. Now, if this picture looks like it shouldn't exist, it's because you're right, it really shouldn't. Lions and tigers would never hook up in the wild because their ranges don't even overlap anymore. Which is why this isn't nature. It's f***ing anarchy. Also, ligers are more likely to develop health problems and neurological disorders. And sometimes their organs file for unemployment and straight up just stop working. In fact, Nuke lost his life to cancer and Hobza Liger got cancelled by liver failure. Honestly, ligers are like pugs. They're cool to look at, but they don't deserve the pain that comes with their own existence. Also, we didn't stop at ligers and tigons. This is a jaguar lion stepchild, the Jaglion. A male leopard and a lioness will get you a Leopon. Once in Mexico, a zoo allegedly bred a Tiguar. That's right, a tiger and a jaguar. Moral of this video. The f are we doing?